Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to make these super cute one inch ribbon tails down bows and uh, these ones are slightly different than the standard ones that I use as my base bows because it shows you how to get both the tails at behind and give you the more like squared kind of shape rather than the slightly curved look like that. So I have a three inch template and I have 20 inches of ribbon or 50 centimetres depending on how you work and I have folded mine in half and heat creased the centre in the blue clear bit of the plane and I have some little clips here to hold everything in place. So we're going to start from this and on my template I have drawn a line right where the middle is to help me line up my ribbon as well because I have a terrible sense of depth perception actually pinning them without things like that but it's entirely up to you just makes it a little bit easier for me and we start like this and if you want to go up to a different size so say you wanted to do a three inch on a three and a half inch wrap exactly the same way just start a little bit longer in length and, and wrap it around and then cut once you've worked out where you want to go but it just wrap exactly the same way when i go up to 1.5 inch ribbon as long as you wrap it this exact same way just go up your ribbon sizes, go up your template sizes, you'll be able to work out your sizing. So around the back, you wrap it over like this. Okay. And then over the front, you want to crisscross this over and you go directly under. You don't want any overlap on your... There. And the thing is, can you see? That is lining up with the back of there. So it's almost overlapped, but this line here and this one, they're still in alignment. So those crosses where they come across here, these triangles here and here, and the same here and here, line up with this centerpiece and they're all in alignment. The better you are with your alignment, the better the bows will turn out overall and the more consistent your look will be. Now, for most people, if you want your tails on the top, you would sew through the top. If you want your tails behind, you sew through this way and this way gives you the more square shape rather than the rounded shape as well. And I've got my needle and thread and we're going to do 10 stitches and again, Make sure it's all lined up from above. One, two, three. I'm just going to make sure I don't throw it over the edge of the template. And on this one, I go up through the triangle that side and up into this one that side it's four five show you the other side in a minute. Then over. And the last one comes up because we've started from above so we come up from below. Okay. And as you can see on here, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually. There. So that's how it should look. So in, one, two, three, out. One, two, three, four. And then you can take all your clips off and slide it up your template. And this is what it will look like. And this is the back. And I'll show you in a minute because it's uh, you'll see the difference. And like I said, depending on which way you sew your front stitches 
will show you the difference on how your um, legs will look. So cinch that nice and tight and wrap that round. And then stitch off in the back however you normally do. And that's what, what you end up with. Now I always give mine a little twist and tug to give it more squared look. We'll get this all glued and sorted out in just a second. Now I have an alligator clip and this one is one and three quarters or 45 millimetre. Um, I don't line my clips, I just glue them onto the back of the boot, like so. And then I have some matching 9mm, you see all the edges normal. Drop the glue, flip that clip back open, get it right on the centre where you've done your wrap round with your thread. I'm just going to cut that down where I've just been untidy with my threading there. There we go. And I always wrap round twice, right over the top of the original. Put that down there. It's it. And with this bit, that might do a slightly long. Alright, you want about 10 centimetres because this is not, not enough to do the knot, but you want at least about 10 centimetres. And you want to make a fish shape like this for your loop through, so you have like this look. And then turn it so that you've got a flat base. And those parts are flat and that's when you get a nice pointed knot and then i actually glue on that flat back area there only a little bit because you don't want, want it to come out either side and then place that right on the middle pull it tight cut off any Excess. There we go. And then we are going to glue and wrap that round. Glue there. And then with my legs, all the tails, bring them together like this to see if they've lined up because sometimes they go a little bit out. Across so that they're nice and even if you need to and then you can triangle them off as a straight you can do curved like that one the bows that I've done previously whatever's best for yourself all you've got to remember to do is heat seal those ends so that they don't fray in the blue clear bit of the frame you can even do like the spiked tails they look super cute you can make them look so different just by changing the tail shape and like I said giving them a little bit of adjustment once a sorry I've had my glue gone all day and I've got little glue stringers everywhere fortunately it's the realities of crafting so then like I said I'll just give it a little tweak up and there's your super cute little tails down and like I said if you do slightly longer tails you've got enough spacing for like school names or like named customization uh, bows and things like that they're really really cute as like little pigtail sets 
just curve in the shape of the tails, give some different looks. You can do them in multiple colours, they'll be perfect for little school bow sets and things like that. So hopefully you found this useful.